So here we have a schematic of the propeller. We have the governor itself, which is made up of uh, a speeder spring, a pilot valve, some fly weights. And we have a gear driven pump, which supplies uh, engine oil, which is then pressurized to governor our oil or propeller pressure oil. We have the uh, cylinder uh, out at the propeller here. It's made up of uh, a piston and um, and a cylinder. So the piston is connected directly to the propeller blades. Okay, so let's assume uh, we're we're flying along, and we encounter an increase in RPM. So the propeller is now s rotating at a speed uh, greater than which we had selected. The engine is therefore turning uh, at a faster rate. So this is going to cause this whole mechanism to, s to, to rotate and the increased centrifugal force due to this increased rotation speed will cause the flyweights to move out. So the flyweights then will overcome the tension in the speeder spring. So as they move out, they're going to push this uh, pilot valve up. When the pilot valve moves up, the high pressure oil from the engine uh, can now flow out across through the coarse pitch tube into one side of the uh, piston. So we have a high pressure oil one side of the piston. That's going to cause the piston to move back. And when the piston moves back, this is uh, connected to the propeller blade. So the propeller goes to a more coarse position. Now, if the propeller goes to a more coarse position, that means the uh, RPMs are going to reduce. So when the RPMs reduce, the there's going to be less centrifugal force acting on the flyweights here. So they're going to move back in. When that happens, the speeder spring tension then overcomes the force on the the flyweights. So the pilot valve is going to be pushed back down. And now no more oil can get out. This is all blocked off now and no oil can return back. So we have a, a condition called hydraulic lock. And we say that the propeller is in the on speed condition. So we've gone from an overspeed condition where the flyweights are out back to an on speed condition purely by the action of the propeller governor. Okay, the opposite is what we call a underspeed condition. So when that occurs, uh, the prop is going at a, sp a smaller speed or lower speed. So the centrifugal force is reduced, the flyweights collapse and the speeder spring overcomes as, um, the, the effect of the flyweights. So the pilot valve moves down. The pressure oil now is diverted through the fine pitch tube. So oil comes through this tube. And that's going to act on the piston. And that's going to cause the piston to move back. And as it moves back, the oil is returned through the coarse pitch tube and back to the engine sump. So the piston has moved. And the piston will cause the propeller blades to move. So then move back to that position, which is a more fine position. And when the propeller moves to a fine position, it increases its RPM. So the gears here will start rotating a little bit faster. The engine is rotating a bit faster now. And that increase in RPM is going to increase the centrifugal force here. So these guys are going to move out. When they move out, they're going to cause the, the pilot valve to move back up slightly. Yeah, there's it moving back up. And now we're back into hydraulic lock. Oil can't move, so the propeller is back on the on-speed condition. And that's how a propeller governor works.